about today's celebrity news update. Erica's first interview will melt your heart and make you cry. But before the video clip, the winner of the Big Brother Niger Lockdown Season 5, Lei Khan, returns to the studio 48 hours after winning the 85 million grand prize. Of Lei Khan. Also, how Lekan's fan, known as Icons, stamp Lekan's location to celebrate and appreciate their president for winning the Big Brother Niger Lockdown Season 5 grand prize of 85 million. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Kid Rika step in here, just believe me, yes, Erika and Kid Wire are still in a relationship and this video clip will convince you but before then, let me remind you of what I strictly do on my beautiful and entertaining channel is to simply bring to you celebrity news updates using sliding photos and video clip content of the former Big Brother Ninja season of Lockdown 5 simply for information values and entertainment purposes so is this the first time ever you are stumbling on my channel and this is para adventure the first ever video you are watching on my channel kindly please click on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and please endeavor to turn on the notification bell that is right beside the subscribe button it will always notify you once i upload a new video you'll be the first to watch like share and comment enjoy the video clip to ascertain that kidrika and erika are still in a relationship <music> your towel or handkerchief beside you will you cry yes but please don't cry so much because i am concluding today's celebrity news update with erica's first interview as she bears it all and everything that is going to happen and has happened before and after big brother ninja please endeavor to copy and paste this video link on all your social media platform and i will see you in my next video upload and until then bye bye i see you soon hi bye. guys it's erica here I'm sure a lot of you have burning questions you want to ask me. And I have time today, so I just want to talk to you guys. Where do I even start? <laughs> First of all, I was in shock because I had just watched a video of myself. Uh, yeah, I was ashamed. I felt very sad because I, have a, I had a goal and it was cut short by my actions, you know. Yes, I felt really, really horrible. And then when I came out, I was like, how am I going to face my family? How am I going to face all the people who are rooting for me? I was scared. And then when I met my loved ones, they were so nice. They were welcoming. I was like, it's not me. Didn't you guys see what I did? I was disqualified. But they were nice. And then when I finally had access to social media, I saw that I had like another family, the elite. And the following was so huge. I was so surprised. I'm like, ah, what is it about me that made so many people love me? You guys have never met me in your lives. Nothing. You guys just saw me on the screen. I even thought I let a lot of people down, so I wasn't even thinking I was going to have fans or anyone supporting me. I was just prepared to go back to life as normal, just continue my acting on a small scale, the way I was used to. But when I came out and I saw all the love, all the support, I saw some people were crying, people who have never met me. I don't know how to explain how it made me feel. But I just want to let you know that sped up my healing process and that's why I'm, I'm very grateful I, 
I am grateful. I just want to tell you guys, thank you for everything you've done for me. All the love, the support, the prayers, everything. Thank you. If I could do anything differently in the house, what would I do? I would have been more self-reliant. I think that's the only thing that I really regret. I was not self-reliant emotionally. I relied emotionally on my friends. And being away from my loved ones made me feel really alone and made me very emotionally dependent on the very few friends I had in the house. And that affected everything about my performance in the house, yeah. I'm grateful for the opportunity to go into that house because it showed me a lot of things about myself that I didn't even realize. And I think the first step to becoming a great person is finding out my flaws and working on the flaws. I have seen the flaws and I'm definitely a work in progress, but I'm getting closer and closer to the person I want to be. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful for all the love and all the support I've received so far. So now that I'm out of the house, what have I been up to? Well, I've been hanging out with my friends, my family, people who love me. I have been getting counseling. I've been working on myself. I've had some meetings. You guys will see some things, some deals, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've just been working on myself generally and then working on my career. I have plans, guys. I'm very ambitious. You guys don't know. I have the drive and that's the only thing I live for right now. Right now, I just need to be the person I've always wanted to be. So I've channeled all my energy into that. You guys will see, don't worry. <laughs> so speaking of seeing, I'm sure you guys have seen that I got signed to Upfront and Personal a few days ago. <laughs> I am so excited, guys. I am so excited. Ah, you guys are not ready. You're not ready for all the things we have in stock. <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm very happy. I'm grateful to God. And they have a lot of plans for me. So yeah, I'm with the winning team now. <laughs> Yes, guys, so look out. Keep supporting me, guys, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about Kid. <laughs> First of all, he's my friend. He was my best friend in the house. He's a very great guy. He's very intelligent. He was there for me, and he's still there for me. Um, about a relationship, I'm not sure about that. No one knows the future. But the thing is, the pressure is not going to help. So, guys, just allow us to work on ourselves, you know? Like for me, I was working on myself, my brand, everything. And I know he has plans for himself, his career. So right now, we're fresh out of the house. We had our plans before we even met each other. And now we're fresh out of the house. We have to do everything we plan to do with our lives, our career. That comes first. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. You guys already know, okay, yeah, I like him, blah, blah, blah. But what comes first is my career. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> working on me. Yeah. <laughs> I keep seeing comments, people saying, oh, she's an actress. She wasn't real. She's been acting. Or when she says certain things, she's acting. How? How is it possible for me to act for seven weeks straight without stopping? If I was acting, I'm sure there would be some lack of consistency. I was myself throughout the house. Even at my detriment, because I think I was even too much of myself. <laughs> like, yeah, so I don't know how anyone would think I was acting in the house. I was myself. And if you see my tweets or if you see my social media from way back, you would see that I am exactly the way I have been since I have myself. And if you ask my friends or if you ask anyone who knows me, they will tell you this is how Erica is. The way I have been, the way I was, I was in the house is the same way I am in real life. And if you ever have a chance to meet me, you will see, this is how I am. I'm not, I'm not a fake person. I've been seeing a lot of crazy stuff on the internet about me, saying that I knew about Lacon's sickness and I used it against him. Come on, guys. In all my time in that house, I'm sure you should see the kind of person I am. First of all, I'm a very emotional person. I take... I'm very sensitive to people's feelings. If I do things wrong, I always go back and apologize. And there's no time I've ever used whatever something someone says to me against them, because I know how bad I will feel if someone does that to me. 
Lekon never told me he was SC. There's no time he ever said that to me. And he himself, he knows that he never said that to me. He left to me, Lekon was fine. Lekon was all right. It was just bottled up emotions. And obviously, I was under the influence. That is it. That's what happened. So one last thing. I want to address the elite. Cool name, by the way. <laughs> when I came out and I saw the name elite, like, okay, cool. I'm glad to be your queen. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to talk about something important. I don't want us to be a toxic team. I don't want us to be fighters. I want us to be lovers. I know there will always be bad things said about me, but I want us to learn to ignore. I don't want us to fight all the time. I don't want us to be known for anything negative, okay? I just want positive energy all around us. I want us to be classy. <laughs> yeah, so guys, please, no more fighting. <laughs> no fighting. Let's just ignore, okay? Positive energy, that's it. But I love you guys. I appreciate everything you have done for me. And as I've said a million times, I will not let you down. I won't. I will make you guys proud to stand me. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>